This nest has been present for probably about three to four years now. Uh, we originally thought that this pair that we're looking at today uh, was the same pair that nested about a mile or so to the south, but just this year we realized that it's actually two distinct um, nesting pairs. And nesting close to a mile apart is uh, becoming more frequent now than it was, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, this this particular nest at this time, as of our last survey done uh, on March 16th, uh, this nest had two chicks, approximately two to three weeks old. So, in about another mm, two and a half months or so, the young will be old enough to fledge, and uh, they'll be seen flying all over this marsh, learning how to hunt, and then moving on before winter hits. Bald eagle in Delaware is currently um, growing. The population is currently growing uh, very quickly. Uh, about 25 years ago, we had four active nest sites in Delaware. Uh, we are currently monitoring 74 active nesting territories in Delaware. So that's a huge increase. Uh, the majority of the uh, increase is likely due to the banning of DDT and the birds are now able to produce eggs, viable eggs, uh, that won't break when they incubate them. Pairs obtain a territory, defend that territory, and build one or more nests within that territory. They'll switch off uh, every so often if they decide to build an alternate nest. Uh, those nests can be reused for you know, 15 to 20 years if that pair lasts that long. Bald eagles typically produce two young. Uh, more often, it's two, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three. They almost always lay at least two eggs. Uh, and three would be the maximum. Three is not very common. Usually we have about five to six nests a year that produce three chicks. A lot of that has to do with their ability to feed three chicks. In 2011, we monitored 68 active eagle territories in Delaware. So we've already added six more in 2012. Each active territory is occupied by one pair of bald eagles. Just because the territory is labeled as active does not mean they actually attempt to nest there though. They're defending a territory and they may not nest every single year. Of those 68 pairs in 2011, 59 of those pairs attempted to lay eggs and nest. 44 of those 59 pairs were successful in raising chicks, ranging from one to three chicks per nest. A total of 84 chicks was produced in 2011. This is a record for Delaware. We have never had this many chicks ever, or this many nesting territories. In Newcastle County, we monitored 22 nests, which produced 20 chicks. In Kent County, we monitored 17 nests, which produced 16 chicks. And in Sussex County, we monitored 29 nests, producing 8, 48 chicks. Well, there's uh, really two primary threats to bald eagles now. Uh, one would be disturbance. Disturbance is probably their biggest threat today. Bald eagles are very sensitive to a variety of different disturbance types, whether it be somebody walking up underneath the nest or whether it be a major landscape change. Uh, when they are disturbed, it often means, particularly during the nesting season, that they're off of the nest for prolonged periods of time. They're wasting valuable energy resources trying to defend their nesting territory or drive us as humans off of the nest area. So, you know, disturbance can definitely lead to nest failure. It can need, lead to uh, pre-fledged chicks actually jumping from the nest. Um, you know, and once they hit the ground, the, they're fair game for any of, the, any of the predators that might be on the ground. Aside from disturbance issues, uh, the next probably biggest, greatest threat to bald eagles is lead poisoning. Likely due to them consuming um, carcasses or uh, other types of uh, carrion that may have been shot or, uh, you know, collecting it from other organisms as they feed on them that had lead contamination to begin with. Nesting territories typically encompass about three miles uh, around the nest. So if you do a three mile circle around the nest, that'd be the area that they're going to use for foraging. The area within a mile of the nest is the most heavily defended area. And that's where the eagles will spend a lot of their time patrolling, particularly once they have chicks in the nest. They'll, they'll patrol that one mile territory pretty frequently, usually it's the male, and defend it from other birds of prey and of course other bald eagles. We find these nests in a variety of ways. Uh, yes, we monitor them. We monitor all of our, monitor all of our nests by air. Uh, it's the most efficient method to monitor our nests because many of them are located off of roadways and very difficult to observe from the ground. Uh, during those aerial surveys, we often locate new nests by checking areas in between known nesting territories, particularly those that are more than three miles apart. 
Uh, we also receive a lot of our nesting information from the public. The public often calls us with eagle reports and once we start receiving multiple reports from a general area, particularly during the nesting season uh, from February through March, we focus on that area because there's likely nesting occurring somewhere in the vicinity. To report a bald eagle, you contact me at 302-735-8673 and you can either talk to me directly if I'm at my office or you can leave me a voicemail message and I will return your call. I am definitely interested in any bald eagle report that I can receive. Uh, we track all of our reports. It's one of the ways we determine new nest locations. So even if you've only observed a bald eagle flying over the highway or sitting on the ground, it's very important for us to know and we appreciate those reports.